What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are rolling around with a bunch of these, which are the rune arts. And one of the biggest things about these rune arts is a lot of people don't even know what these do. You might have it in your inventory if you go through your list here. You might have it here, and you might be activating it, but you don't know exactly what it does. Well, today I'm going to tell you guys exactly what it does. I'm also going to be telling you guys how you can activate one of the best ruins called the Rikert's Great Ruin. I'm going to tell you exactly where you could pick this up and where you're going to need to activate it and what does it do and how you actually get it to work in this entire video. So if you're enjoying our Elden Ring coverage, hit that like button like your mama taught you right and let's get right into it, fellas. So let's talk about what you're going to need in order for you guys to get this ruin. So in order for you guys to get this ruin, you are going to need to defeat a boss in Volcano Manor. Now, I have a complete guide going over exactly what you need to do. But basically, you just got to do the quest line in the Volcano Manor. I'll link the video right here on the description and also in the annotation. Complete that quest line. And at the end of that quest line, you're going to be fighting a crazy boss, which is called Riker. And he's going to drop this rune. But you won't know how to activate it or how to equip it. Well, today I'm going to tell you guys what you're going to need to do and where you need to go. So once you guys have the rune in your inventory, as you see right here, you're going to go here. I have the Riker Great Ruin. Mine is currently activated. Yours will probably be down here and will look grayed out like this because they are not activated. These runes that I have are not activated. Now, if you want to know how you get more of these runes, any single time that you guys kill a major boss, not a mini boss, but a major boss, they will give you a rune. So, for example, you kill the last final boss, which is Godric, he will drop this rune for you. If you kill Ranadan, he's going to drop a rune as well. And if you kill Morgoth, he's also going to drop a rune. Each of them will give you different benefits. Now, right now, we're focusing on Rikard. So, if you guys want to see guides on each individual one, let me know in the comment section down below, yes, and which one you actually want to see a guide on. So, with that being said, guys, now let's go ahead and activate it. So, in order for you guys to activate this rune, you're going to need a access to a secret place within the game. And that secret place is going to be found in this sealed tunnel. Now, I could just tell you go to the sealed tunnel and that would be it. But I want to show you guys because there are a lot of hidden walls here that you probably won't know where to go when you first go here and to enter. So this is pretty much uh, towards like 30% of the game fully in here. You should be able to have access to this area. So we're going to get over to the sealed tunnel and I'm going to walk you real quick on how you need to go and progress throughout this tunnel in order to make your run smooth. Now, there are a couple ads here, but you can just pretty much speed run this. You're going to go through the tunnel, and as soon as you walk in, you're going to make a right. Now, just ignore the ads. Once you make the right, you're going to cut through here, and once you cut through here, you're going to go through this area right here, and you're gonna, this wall is going to be not open for you. It's going to be a rock. Hit that, and you guys should be able to proceed to the area that I'm in. So make sure you guys remember that. That wall will not be present, okay? So you got to make sure you hit it in order for you to progress. Now, we're going to keep going down here. As we continue going down here, we're going to keep following the pathway as well, jumping down here. And then we're going to get to this specific area where there is also going to be a lot of trees. All right, so once you get to this area, guys, it's pretty easy. There is a, like a little special rune that you can pick up in the bottom, which is going to be on that stature. I already picked it up, but you're going to drop down, and you're going to have the, the enemy actually walk up to it and destroy it. Okay, so we're going to climb up here, go back up. So that enemy has to actually destroy that. Don't jump down like I did because... You actually want to land on the other tree part, and you want to avoid that. So, cool thing is I get my health back. If you want to know how I'm getting my health back without doing anything, definitely check out my, my build, Never Die build, and you will be able to do the same thing. So, we want to drop down to this tree right here, and I don't know why it keeps goombling me. And we're just going to avoid these ads as well, jump over them, and keep going through this particular side. Now, these walls might be a little bit disappeared from you. If they are, just make sure you hit them with the sword, and you should be good to go. So... Let's take this guy out real quick, just because I'm tired of him chasing me, and he's dead. Now, this part's going to be tricky, guys, because if you jump automatically down, these little balls right there that you see right there, those are going to explode, and you want to avoid that exploding damage. So basically, what you want to do is jump down, and you want to roll automatically, so when they blow up, they don't blow near you, and you get your health back, which is really cool. Now, after you got past this part right here, you're going to go this way, straight into this part, and you're going to notice that there's these trees right here. You're just going to want to make sure you drop down without taking any fall damage very easily. And like this. And go ahead and drop down one more time. And you're going to do it one more time again. And now you made it all the way to the bottom. Now, in this part right here, I don't think there's a wall, a barrier wall. But you could just keep going in here. And in this part, there's going to be a boss fight. And you all you have to do is kill the boss. And you should be good to go. I'm going to show you guys a little clip of the boss dying. So you guys get an idea of what you get when you actually kill him. Alright, so there you guys have it. We killed the boss. 
Now, there is going to be this thing that's going to show up right here that's going to allow you to go back and return to the entrance. You do not want to do that. You just want to keep going straight and you're going to walk to this part right here. Now, once you're in this location right here, there is going to be a side of grace that you're going to be able to activate. So you can always come back to this location without a problem. Once you activate that side of grace, keep going to the Divine Tower of the West Atlas. And then you're going to work your way up here, hit this, and this will automatically start bringing down the platform. Like in your case, it will start bringing you up. In my case, it's bringing it down because I already went up once. But in your case, it will just automatically start moving the uh, the platform up. So we're going to bring it down just a little bit. It does take a little bit of while for it to get up there. As you guys see, it is a very long way to get to the Divine Tower. So we're just going to wait for that to come down and then we're going to proceed. All right, so now we activated and we're heading up. And then once we get all the way up, we'll go ahead and continue the commentary. All right, so we made it all the way up, guys. We made it up. Woohoo! All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to keep going up this little street. Hit this other one right here, which is another uh, resting spot for the side of grace. Work your way up the platform and then work your way up another flight of stairs. And then once you get all the way up here, you're going to notice that there's going to be two fingers and there's going to be a light right here that you're gonna have to be able to engage with. Now, currently for mine is off, but I'm gonna play the clip of me actually doing it when I did it. And once you activate that, that's gonna activate and make the rune activated so it can work for yourself. Now that you have that rune activated, the question is, Laser, how do I go ahead and actually make it to, you know, for me to be able to use it? Well, in order for you to be use it, you're gonna have to visit a site of grace. And once we're in the site of grace, we're gonna approach the site of grace, grace hit sit down, and we are going to go where it says Great Roots. Now, when we click on Great Roots, the one that's going to be uh, available will be located on the bottom portion of the map right there on, on the map. I should say on the menu. As you see, I only have one activated because I want to do. I would want to do video tutorials on each one. So I wanted to see if you guys wanted to see the video tutorials on each one. And then you just go a matter of picking it. Once you select it, it's already activated. Now. How do you actually get it to activate in the game? All we have to do, guys, is activate the rune arc by holding down X or whatever you have in your controller to activate the rune arc. I can't activate mine because mine is already active, and that will automatically last you all the way until you die. So if you don't die, that's going to stay active all the way throughout. And you'll know you have the rune arc activated whenever you get into a fight. So we're going to go ahead and hit this, guys, real quick. And you're going to notice that I'm going to have the rune arc icon in my health bar once we actually get this going. So let me go ahead and hit this guy real quick so you guys can see it in action. Let me go walk up to this guy slowly here. I think I needed him for him to hit me to actually show. Yeah, let me, let me see if I can get this guy to hit me real quick. So I'm gonna have this guy hit me real quick here. Come on, buddy. What does it take for you to hit me? Come on, hit me. All right, so you guys see the rune arc is activated on the left-hand side of my status bar. So that means I already have that activate, that rune arc. And I don't have to worry about that. And each rune arc will give its own benefits. For example, this one gets some really amazing benefits that are that is part of my Never Die build. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.